the economics program at Cambridge is uh, very special and different from other programs. The course is fantastic. It provides you the opportunity to become incredibly academically versed. You get to immerse yourself in it, in a subject that you really like. It starts off with a really broad first year, where you do everything from history and politics, of economics to maths. After that, you can choose to specialise, which really gives you a fantastic skill set of both essay writing and analytics. By the third year, you'll be expected to produce an original piece of economic research of your own with very, very minimal supervision. And the idea is that the course, through its progressive structure, has given you these tools that will allow you ultimately to become an independent economist. The basic structure is lectures that are offered at the University at the Faculty of Economics. You'll then go away and get detailed feedback on written work that you've carried out in response to those lectures in small group supervisions. And so that's a two-to-one or a three-to-one session with an expert in the field. And that provides great opportunity to get a more insight into the subject you're studying. I think the facilities and resources are absolutely fantastic. So you've got the amazing Marshall Library, uh, which could have any sort of economics book that you could ever need. Um, you've also got the University Library, which has a, a much broader source of reading. We have very uh, wide access to a lot of electronic resources in terms of data sets. For example, we have data from the 1940s and 50s in terms of the Bank of England's kind of reports uh, in the basement. There's a lot of uh, points of contact for advice and support uh, when you're studying economics here. We have a director of studies in our college that's responsible for our academic performance. We also have something we call office hours in the faculty, which means that every lecturer, an academic, has an hour of the time each week set aside for students to drop in with questions about anything at all. Uh, we have personal tutors in our college, uh, a staff member outside of our subject who's responsible for how we are feeling and anything in addition to our work. But besides this, we also have loads of other things, support for mental health, surgeries and colleges, and just in general societies where you can interact and share your experiences. I'm part of the uh, Keynes Economic Society, so I like arranging talks and panel debates. I think societies are a great way to kind of become even more passionate about your subject. Economics teaches you to think very logically. It teaches you how to think critically, both verbally and mathematically. I'm quite interested in going into economics consultancy, policy making, working with NGOs. Uh, I plan on starting a career within investment banking. I think at some point I'd like to pursue a master's but I'm also interested in both the public and the private sector. Certainly the, the scope of options is very, very broad and very, very exciting. I think there are some wonderful career options if you're an economist. We have a lot of uh, brilliant economists that have come from here. 200 years ago, Thomas Malthus was here. 100 years ago, Alfred Marshall was here. 80 years ago, John Maynard Keynes was here. Joan Robinson was here more recently. It's an amazing uh, place to, to study. To study economics is really, really a good choice. You have so many opportunities afterwards. Great academics, good like personalised tutoring and um, just a great environment to be in. Follow your instincts, follow what you find most interesting. If you don't apply, there's no chance of you getting in. And so please do. Just do it.